Hello and welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Real glad that you could join us again. Going to be speaking with Dr. Byrne Melnick this morning. She's uh, joining us here from the Ohio State University College of Nursing to talk about a new study that was conducted by the college that found that critical care nurses nationwide reported high levels of stress, depressive symptoms, and anxiety even before this COVID-19 pandemic began. And um, she's going to talk about how those factors correlated with an increase in self-reported medical errors. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Byrne Melnick. I'm glad to join you. Now, I've said that you're joining us here from the Ohio State University College of Nursing. Um, I do understand that you've got uh, quite an extensive background in critical care nursing. Yes, I do. That is how I started my career in the pediatric intensive care unit. You're there at the Ohio State University College of Nursing. What is your role there at the uh, college? I am dean of this fabulous College of Nursing, but I also am Ohio State's first chief wellness officer. So I spearhead health and wellness across the university, including the medical center. As far as nurses, especially critical care nurses, dealing with stressful situations each and every day, that problem has been increased due to this pandemic. Absolutely. So as you stated, when we began to talk, the stress depression and burnout of critical care nurses was already quite high. But the pandemic has escalated that even further. Nurses have had to deal with so many seriously ill patients from COVID-19 who have died. And what has made it worse is the fact that they have had to be the sole support for dying patients because family members could not get in to see their loved ones. So I predict we are going to see more post-traumatic stress disorder, more complicated grief in our nurses due to all the additional stressors they have been experiencing with the pandemic. Now, this study that the Ohio State University College of Nursing conducted, what specifically were you trying to reveal in this study? Well, I wanted to show folks again the continuous high levels of stress, anxiety, depression in this group of nurses. But very importantly, what we showed was that those outcomes are linked to healthcare safety. And furthermore, Our study showed if nurses perceived that they worked in a healthcare work site that was supportive of their well-being, they had better health outcomes. And so our C-suites in hospitals, healthcare systems all throughout the country They need to invest more in the health and well-being of nurses, physicians, and other clinicians. We need to work on fixing system issues that we know contribute to burnout, stress, and depression and offer great mental health screening programs, resources, access to mental health treatment, as well as evidence-based programming to build resiliency 
in our nurses and other providers. You talked about better outcomes when nurses uh, felt that they were working for an organization that supported and was interested in their well-being. When it came to being overworked, stressed, these outcomes are affected, of course, by errors. Did you find that the inability to pay attention like they normally would, are they self-reporting or are situations arising that are revealing some of these mistakes that the uh, nurse is not aware of? In our study, the nurses self-reported mm -hmm. their medical errors. But if you look at other studies that have been done on medical errors, you may be more likely to get an accurate count, more so through self-report. Because to be honest, errors happen in healthcare systems that don't always get reported because people are concerned. Am I going to lose my job? Um, is there going to be some type of retribution? So I feel pretty good that the reporting that the nurses did in this study, because it was anonymous, was accurate. You know, the fear of losing your job um, or being written up as a as a as a healthcare provider, whether it's a doctor, a nurse or anyone involved in taking care of others in a healthcare setting. Does that fear increase when someone decides to report an error as opposed to feeling that they may be found out by not reporting that error? Did people talk about that situation in this survey? I know we did not get that type of information. We were really interested in does the physical and mental health of nurses, is that associated with the number of medical errors that people make? And we certainly found that not only in this study, but I did another study that I published a couple of years ago that showed the exact same finding. We did that study with about 1,800 nurses in 19 healthcare systems throughout the country. And again, we found the same relationships. So nurses who were in better health had less medical errors, and nurses who perceived their work sites as being supportive of their well-being had better health outcomes. Where can our listeners go online and get some more information about the Ohio State University College of Nursing and possibly about this study uh, that was conducted by the college as well? Absolutely. So they can go to nursing.osu.edu. And this study, this publication, is in the American Journal of Critical Care. And it is freely available for downloading right now. Well, Byrne, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Same here. Thanks for your interest in this very critical topic. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Byrne Melnick. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.